Seven Most Dangerous Airports in the World Lukla Airport The first most dangerous airport in the world is Lukla Airport. This airport is also known as Tenzing Hillary Airport, where Tenzing Hillary is a combination of the two people who first reached the highest peak of Mount Everest, namely Tenzing Norgay and Sir Edmund Hillary on May 29, 1953. The airport, which is located in a small town called Lukla, is popular with its very short runway, which is 527 meters. Not only that, at the end of the airport there is a ravine with a depth of 600 meters. Lukla Airport is surrounded by several mountains, one of which is the highest mountain in the world, namely Mount Everest. This also makes this airport the main access in and out of Himalayan climbers to Mount Everest. Tonkantan Airport Tonkantan Airport is one of the most difficult airports for pilots to land a plane. The runway length owned by Tonkantan Airport is only around 1,800 meters or 6,112 feet. This made the pilot have to rotate the plane as far as 45 degrees to be able to land at this airport. However, the rotation made by the aircraft has the potential to erode the terrain at the bottom of the plane due to friction which makes Tonkantan Airport one of the most extreme airports in the world because it has a short runway and is in mountainous terrain. Princess Juliana International The next most dangerous airport in the world is Princess Juliana International Airport. Located on St. Martin Island, the airport is very close to the beach which is a tourist area. Princess Juliana International Airport has a runway of 2,179 meters long. Initially, this airport existed only to be used for small aircraft, but as the tourism industry developed very rapidly, finally this airport was also used for large aircraft. To be able to land a plane at this international airport, pilots must have a great level of caution. The reason is, this airport is directly adjacent to the beach which is full of tourists. Not only that, what makes this airport dangerous is that when planes land and take off, the distance between the plane and the tourists underneath is only a few meters. Paro Airport Located at the foot of the Himalayas, the airport sits at an altitude of 1.5 miles above the sea and is surrounded by pine trees that grow to 18,000 feet. Not only that, the runway which is owned by Paro Airport is quite short, which is around 6,500 feet. Being the only international airport in Bhutan, Paro Airport has only eight qualified pilots in the world. In addition, only a few certified and selected pilots can land at this one airport. Gibraltar International Airport was founded during World War II and has only one terminal. The airport, which is only used by the British Navy, has a runway of 1,828 meters. Not only that, the airport also intersects with a city highway called Winston Churchill Avenue. Traffic lights on the city's main thoroughfare will tell you when the vehicle should stop when the plane is about to land or take off. This airport is very dangerous because it uses part of the city's main roads that are traversed by the public. Of course this allows accidents. MCAS Futenma As the most dangerous airport in the world. This airport has a runway located in the middle of the city crowd. Where the city has a population of more than 3,000 people. In addition, MCAS Futenma Airport is also present in the middle of hospitals and schools, which are supposed to be safe and quiet locations for studying and recovering from illnesses. This was a violation by MCAS Futenma of the safety standards set by the United States Department of the Navy for a military airfield. Madeira Airport. Located in Madeira, Portugal, this airport is the busiest airport as well as the most dangerous airport in the world. The reason is, the airport is located around a steep cliff. This is a special concern for pilots who will take off or land at this airport to be more careful. Moreover, the airport has been expanded to the site of a steep cliff. Madeira Airport has very strong winds because it comes from the mountains and oceans on both sides. Not only that, this instrument landing system which is not owned by the airport requires pilots to navigate challenging terrain manually. Therefore, only 20 captains from British Airways Airlines are eligible and can operate to Madeira Airport. In addition, this airport also provides special training for pilots to properly land their aircraft at Madeira Airport.